we have been looking for something that would really represent our company's DNA. It is the very classic bus, the Volkswagen, which stands for both the heritage of our company, of our company's values, bringing people together, providing individual mobility and freedom. We're taking a 1962 vintage VW bus and we're retrofitting it with all manner of kind of the latest and greatest technologies that we think going forward will be significant within the automotive industry. The main focus is the wheels, but it goes beyond that. We've explored other spaces inside the vehicle, steering wheels, seating, exterior mirror mounting, and so there's several areas inside the vehicle and others that we want to continue to explore in 2019. From a design point of view, generative design enables you to create really, really beautiful objects, something that we're really keen to explore with VW. On top of that, nature is the best designer, and we end up with parts that look a lot like biomimicry. So we know that we're able to produce something that's beautiful and is not going to compromise the performance either. From a designer standpoint, I have to say it just looks cool. Like, it's, it's absolutely a totally new aesthetic and something that, that I believe we're gonna start seeing more of in new concepts and new vehicles moving forward. Generative design for automotive is a no-brainer. Being able to produce things that are much lighter, maintain the same level of strength without compromising the integrity of the product is key in automotive design. In the past, if you design, uh, let's say, a vehicle rim, if you're going to design one of those, in the very far past, you had to basically sketch it by hand. You had a draftsman who had to draw the whole thing out. Very long process, very tedious. Generative design, instead of manually designing the actual shape, you give the software constraints. Like, I need it to be this big, I need it to support this much weight in these kinds of directions. You feed it some physics information, basically. For like the larger project as a whole, and especially as this relates to Volkswagen Group, we're always looking for new technologies that can help add lightness, if you will, to our vehicles, or like lightweight technologies that make our vehicles more efficient. Especially when you're talking about areas like the wheel, where rotational mass is really important to, to making a vehicle uh, more energy efficient. In a way, it makes it more complex, because you just have much more choices to choose from. Because now, you know, when a designer worked for a week and then you had two options, now a computer works overnight and you have 300, but yet you still need the time to evaluate all those 300 and make the decision which work and which don't. Even though you're getting thousands of the iteration that you choose from, there is certain thing that computer can't do yet. It's very like detail, looking at the very detail of the aesthetic that has to be controlled by designer. Being able to come up with a new workflow that's faster, where you can make better design decisions and, and smarter informed design decisions, that's really powerful. What I can feel today is that we probably even don't understand to the full extent the potential of generative design. This is something we will have to figure out within the next years where human engineering combined with artificial intelligence can provide lighter, smarter products. And here is a huge potential that will, from my understanding, revolutionize not just the products that we're providing, but also the way we work. I'm hopeful that we can see it grow even more and you know, 10, 15 years from now, we could see entire frames being generatively designed. There's a tremendous opportunity there that how to optimize like A pillar and B pillar sections and the frame surrounding the engine bay, like what can we do there? We hope it inspires the, the community, everyone that comes to see it at the unveiling, but again, also for our partners in Germany, we hope that it inspires like new ways of thinking and, and whatnot around how we're gonna be manufacturing vehicles in the coming years. If you speak to any designer or engineer, they'll tell you that producing stuff in the real world always takes longer than you think. One of the great things about using generative design here is we were able to go from ideas in our head to a fully manufactured vehicle in about six months, which is unprecedented and unheard of. Being able to do that while maintaining design and engineering is incredible, and it enables us to produce something that's really quite beautiful to look at. I think I'm gonna be most proud of seeing the wheels in person. They look good enough to eat, quite literally.
The main thing that I wanted to do was to, if I take this out on the street somewhere and some little kid sees it, he's like, who built that? I want to work there. And I really think that that success for us is if we inspire a new generation of people to come be automotive engineers and kind of work, you know, in the same space that we do, I think that's pretty cool.